It's the best day of the week. New truck day. It's your favorite RC YouTuber's least favorite RC YouTuber. I am Matt. This is Bull and Built RC, and I'm going to show you my new truck for the day. I went down to October and picked up a few new trucks. I'm going to do some videos on them, so here we go. I had a Jeep Tuber that I was trying to sell. Kind of an older thing. Some people, you had to be in that market for that market. So a guy that I know named Chris Mitten came over to my booth and said, hey, I noticed that this Jeep tube chassis and the truck I have over here are the same price. And I was like, you're right. And he was like, you want to do some swapping? And I said, yeah. The truck was a grand hauler from Tamiya. I swapped him, had this grand idea. I went down that rabbit hole for about 13 minutes and realized that in six months I was not only going to have that I was probably going to have a cab over I was going to have a low boy or two and an excavator and a front end loader I just I stopped I was like you know what I'm gonna put this out for sale just to see what happens because I I can't go down this right now like I I got too many other interests and stuff so John from JCN customs came over and said hey I really like that grand hauler what do you want to do and i was like well i mean i'd like to sell it but i'll trade some stuff you know we're here everybody you know i know he makes nice things so i walked down there and i was like hey i noticed that we're close on this d90 and he was like yeah i'd trade for that i said all right cool however i'm a little bit above what you want and then you are obo even farther down how could we make this a little more fair he was like i have a home 650 servo how about that and i was like that and the d90 swift swap bob's your uncle we're good maybe you don't have an uncle bob i don't know anyway so i picked this up i did mess with it on a monday night live it does have some decent electronics in it now which is nice i did go ahead and put the copperhead and a small castle system in it so it's a 1900 kv so it should at least try to help these axles last for more than 12 minutes maybe up to like 18 or 22 before i explode them and have to do some sort of swap but it does have a 3D printed battery compartment where I can jam probably a little like 850 or like a, maybe a 1500, 1300, something in there. And, uh, you know, pound it around on 3S. It's basically stock. It does have a custom topper. So these are supposed to be open and someone has filled them in. I would much rather have a pickup style cab. Uh, I thought I had a trade going through, but I'm not, I haven't heard from it. I'm not real sure. I did go ahead and swap from the RC four-wheel drive you know, spokes, wagon wheels, and these terrible mud tires, whatever, over to the KM3s and some military style wheels. I got these out kind of in the field uh, at Rocktober, just buying used things, whatever. I got the tires. I had the wheels from somewhere. I think it's from the swap meet. So I got all that. I got the servo to put in it. So it doesn't look like it's been used very much. I mean, it has been run and everything, but it doesn't look terrible underneath. The links aren't bent. They're not all beat to death. Somehow, either the shocks don't have oil in them or they are not leaking. I think these are upgraded shocks, like the axials or something. I'm not sure if those are even actually full drive shocks, but anywho, uh, dual rate looks like, yeah. So I did notice this was broken. That's not a huge deal. I'll probably end up either taking that off or I may just make a custom number to begin with. I love this freaking color. It's so ugly and disgusting and I think it's awesome. So, uh, yeah, that is my new D90. Not real sure what's going to happen with this thing. I do know that I don't want to blow it up on 475s and tube it out. I already have like three of these bodies, so I can do all that with something else. It's not, this is uh, basically what this is going to be. This is just a trail, like, I don't know, kind of a USTE style truck. I've been getting more into either Shelf Queens or things like this on like 419s just because i like something a little bit new as far as like not everything has to have 4.75s and be a lex hand body and be insanely uber capable to where it can climb straight up a wall and then over to your mom's house while i bang her and then and we'll try to you know, like go back it's not that big of a deal so i'm just trying to get into something a little bit different and uh this is this is definitely one of them so that uh that is this that concludes new truck day i appreciate you watching make sure to check me out on facebook facebook group and instagram bowman built rc across the board think about becoming a channel member you can just join you get to see things a day early you get to see things that other people don't see pictures behind the scenes stuff what i'm doing that i don't really let out into the public until 
it's way more out than done. So think about that, super cheap. And if you're interested, you also get first chance at anything I have for sale. So that could be a perk for you, however you wanna look at it, because I will be selling some trucks here soon because I'm approaching triple digits and that seems excessive. So that is all, I will see you later. Bye. Oh, all right. I had a Jeep or two, uh, customs, JCM customs, I think, right? Okay, cool. Police. Wait for the cops to go by. The fire department, whoever that is. Oh my God. Get there already. Slowest fire truck ever. Are you guys pushing this fire truck? Fuck me. What is taking so long? That concludes new truck day for my day, my day, my day. I ain't going to die, die.